Hi lovelies, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am trying out Amazon's personal shopper service brought to you, or I guess me, by Prime Wardrobe. But before we get into it, if you're new here, I just wanted to say hi, I'm Kathy. I post new videos every Friday and I'm glad you're here. So if you've been around my channel for a little bit, you know that I have done a couple of Stitch Fix boxes, which I will link those down below if you have not seen them. But I wanted to try a different style box. So for today's video, I will be trying out Amazon's personal shopper service. So first, let's talk about some of the details. You can sign up for Amazon's personal shopper service on mobile only, which I'm not sure why that is. If any of you know why that is, let me know down in the comments because I thought it was a little bit strange that you can only do it on your phone. But I believe that once you sign up, it is an automatic monthly subscription. Unless you cancel it, then I believe you can just sign up to get one whenever you want to get one. So to sign up, I filled out a styling quiz telling them about my style preferences. I paid a $5 styling fee. And then a couple days later, I got a notification saying that my picks were ready and that I should go review them and choose the items that I wanted to receive. So I clicked on that notification and it first took me to a little note from my stylist talking a little bit about the pieces and the outfits that she picked. And then it basically presented me with multiple outfits. So for each outfit, there was like a main piece that the stylist was recommending and then at least two or three other items to go with that main piece but I could pick any of those items that I wanted to receive in my box and there were about five outfits total so it gave me the option to choose between one and I think eight items to receive in my box to try and I think I ended up picking one item from each of the five outfits you also have the option when you're going through and picking the items to click on each of the items you could pick a different color in the item or a different size so I think that added aspect of it being customizable is really nice so you choose your item Items, and then you have a week to try them all on and send back any that you do not want and then of course it charges you for the ones that you do want to keep. So I have all my items. They did not come shipped all together which I think is a little bit annoying just for ease of making sure you have everything and that kind of thing. So I ended up getting four packages total with my five items in them. But with them giving you a week to try the items and decide which ones you want to keep and which ones they send back, the week does not start until you have received your last item. So that's actually really nice because one of the items I received arrived around five days later than the other items. In each of the packages as well, there was one of these little guys and it's just kind of has the instructions on what to do and then it has the return shipping label. So they did send me four return shipping labels with each of the four packages that I received my items. So let's take a look at each of the items and then I'm going to try them on. So from the first outfit that it showed me, I picked the Daily Ritual Standard High Rise Skinny Jean in the color Pure Indigo in the size 29 regular and the price was $26.93. And here they are. Also I will link everything down in the description as well in case you're interested in checking any of these items out. And I will also put the link to the personal shopper service for your mobile phone on there. <laughs> so here are the jeans. I believe Daily Ritual is an Amazon brand, which is actually why I wanted to try these. Because as you might know, I recently did kind of a high-waisted jeans haul, but I didn't do any from Amazon. And so I thought it would be interesting to try these. These are a very, very dark wash, which I do like. They seem like a good skinny amount at the ankle, which I think is good. And I think... I think they look like the right size. They might be a little bit big, but I'm not sure. So let's go try them out. So here are the jeans on. Honestly, I'm not super impressed with these. They just don't seem like that great of quality. They say that they're high rise, yet they don't even go quite up to my belly button. They're about a couple inches away. So I don't even know that I would actually qualify these as being high rise. The material is a little bit on the thin side as well. I would equate these to like a Target jean or maybe even, dare I say it, a Forever 21 jean. <gasps> Should I do a video where I try on the clothes from Forever 21? That could be interesting because I am definitely not 21. Let me know if you would want to see that video for me. But these just remind me of Forever 21 jeans. Other than that, I do like that they are fairly stretchy and I do like the dark wash on them as well. So they're not absolutely horrible, but if I'm honest, I'm not super impressed. The next item that I chose from the next outfit is the Good Threads Wash Jersey Cotton Long Sleeve V-neck t-shirt in the color Bordeaux Open Stripe in the size medium and this was $20. So again, this is, I believe, an Amazon brand Good Threads and this is really just a basic tee. I do like the maroon with the navy, although it is a little bit more of a fall color, I would say. The sleeves look like they might be 
a little bit short, but we will have to see when we try it on. So here is the maroon shirt on. I think overall this is a nice basic, which I think that's what Amazon is going for here. I like that it has these kind of side slit on the back and it's a little bit longer in the back than in the front. I like the stripe as well. I like the v-neck, but I don't love the length of the sleeves on me. They're just a little bit on the short side. And I think overall it's kind of on the loose side and I think I wish it was a little bit tighter maybe than it is. I don't know. It just doesn't seem to have much of a shape going on. It just seems a little boring I guess, but I guess that probably is what they're going for again. It's just that basic v-neck long sleeve t-shirt. But for me I just don't know if it's worth the $20. I think it's not exactly perfect and so for me it's not worth the price. The next item that I chose is the Wrangler women's denim jacket in the color drenched in a size medium and this was $28.28. So it's this very dark wash denim jacket. It actually looks like a similar wash to the jeans ironically. And I picked this item because I do currently have a denim jacket but I don't love it and so I am kind of on the search for a better one and so I thought it would be fun to try this one. It seems like a pretty standard jacket. And so let's go try it on. Overall, I think that the quality of this jean jacket is really nice. I think that it fits well. It seems like it's the right size. It kind of cinches in a little bit at the waist and then flares out a little bit, which I can't decide if that looks normal or if it looks weird. I don't know, you guys will have to tell me. I also really appreciate that the sleeves are long enough. Yay, we love a good long sleeve. I'm not entirely sold, surprisingly enough, on the dark color. I think the times when I would want to wear a jean jacket are when it's more like springtime, summertime, and maybe in the fall. And I think in those situations, it might call for actually a lighter jacket. This sounds so weird that I'm saying this because usually I like dark, but I think that a lighter jacket might actually be better so maybe I will have to try one of those sometime but overall I do like this again I think the quality is nice and I like the fit of it and it feels good it feels warm it feels comfortable so yeah the next item that I picked is the Billabong first start top in the color athletic gray in size medium and this was $36.74 so it's this kind of like knit, stretchy, very soft fabric. And then the sleeves are kind of almost a different fabric and color in a sense, but from far away, I feel like it looks like it's the same color. This feels super comfortable. This looks like something that I would definitely like. So let's go try it on and see what we think. So here is the gray top on. I really love how soft this is. It's so comfortable. I didn't really notice this before, but it is a dolman sleeve. I love again that the sleeves are kind of this different pattern and fabric. I didn't really notice before either but it is slightly cropped I would say and it kind of has just a very flowy bottom. I don't love the length on me. I think it I don't know it just looks like oh it could be too short or it's something about the bottom not being cinched and it just being baggy but I don't love the way that that length and the bagginess of it looks on me but overall I do really like this top the sleeves are a good length as well I feel like I always have to mention that but overall I would say very cute very comfortable I think you could style in a lot of ways you could tuck it in I think you could leave it out yeah lots of ways you can wear it, which is always great. And the last item that I chose is the Cupcakes and Cashmere Rhonda Cropped Fuzzy Pullover Crew in the color Organge. I don't know if this is a typo, but it's like orange, but with an extra G in it, Organge. Who knows, Organge Sherbert in the size medium, and this was $29.98. Now, this is funny because when I picked this item, I do not remember noticing that it was cropped. I don't think I would have picked it if I had known that it was cropped, but here we are regardless. I do like that it is cinched around the bottom, so we will see how that is, and the sleeves are a little bit puffy and then cinched at the wrist as well. I'm like, what is that called? It feels very soft. So let's go try it on and see what we think. Yeah, this top is uh, definitely not what I thought it was going to be based on looking at the pictures. It's a little bit too cropped for me. I did actually put a different pair of jeans on just to have it actually paired with a true high rise jean. And I just, yeah, I don't love it. The fabric, it's soft, but it's that weird like static electricity thing. I don't know, it just like, it sticks to me kind of, if that makes any sense. I do like that as a crop top, it is cinched at the bottom rather than just kind of 
flowy and big. I do like that aspect of it. I just wish it was a little bit longer. I am wearing a nude bra with this, but I feel like it is a little bit see-through as well. I don't mind this orange color, surprisingly. I actually kind of like it, especially for spring, but I don't like it on this sweater. <laughs> so overall, I can see how some people would like this sweater a lot, but for me, it's just not really my style. Overall, I think if you really like clothes from Amazon, then this is a great service because I find when I shop for clothes on Amazon that it's hard to kind of dig through everything that's on there. But for this, you just pay $5 and someone else does it for you. I also noticed with some of these items that my stylist got really good deals on them. When I was going back and looking at some of them online after I had ordered them, I noticed that some of them were almost double the price. And and so she really got me great deals, which is something that I asked for in my style preferences was for things to not be super expensive. So I really appreciate that she got me good quality items while also picking items that were on sale at the time. Well, that is all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. You can subscribe down below if you have not already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.